Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Paulina Rosie. Thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure that you guys are subscribed before you guys watch this video. But today I'm going to invite you guys to pack with me to a really, really super quick trip. It's a three day weekend or three day trip. Actually, it's not the weekend. We're going to Lake Havasu. So I'm so, so excited. I've never been to Lake Havasu before but I've always heard great things. So I'm so excited to pack for this trip. I was invited to this trip super quickly. So I went ahead and gathered all of my outfits together and all of my things together. So now all I have to do is pack it up. So that's the part that I wanna film that I want you guys to come with. So I'll be showing you guys what I'm planning to take and all that good stuff, my luggage, my carry-on luggage, because that's the one I'm gonna take, and a duffel bag, and we will be packing it up. So let's go ahead and get this started. Again, don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on all my social medias. But other than that, let's go. So here we have everything that I'm going to be taking to Lake Havasu. The first outfit is this one. I went ahead and got this from Five Below. I just bought it. If you guys know where Five Below is, you guys should go. It was only $5, it's so cute. And this is an Urban Outfitters little sweater that I'm gonna wear over it or that I can tie over my waist if it gets too hot. But this is the outfit that I'm going to wear going to Lake Havasu and the drive. And then we're going to go walk around and get some brunch and get some drinks because we're gonna be waiting to check into the Airbnb. So this is the outfit for pretty much the morning up into the afternoon, like around 4 p.m. So super cute. I'm gonna be wearing this with my tan sandals here that I'm gonna be wearing with every single outfit. Very simple. After that, once we check into the Airbnb, then we are going to jump straight into the swimming pool in the Airbnb. So this is the outfit that I picked out. I'm going to be wearing this regular black swimsuit. It's very high hipped and it's also very cheeky, but I'm going to be covering it up with this kimono to match it. It's just super cute black kimono. And then if I want to wear shorts and I'm going to pair them with these cute shorts here, they're like these beach shorts. I got them from Walmart not too long ago, so super cute. So I can wear these both together or separately without the kimono and just the shorts. And I'm also gonna be wearing my tan sandals with this. But this is going to be the swimsuit for the first night. You know, once we check into Airbnb, settle in, and just hop into the pool, have some drinks and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is gonna be outfit number two. After that, I have my PJs ready here as well. This is um, a sports bra that I'm going to be taking. It's super thin. It's actually from Victoria's Secret. I love to take these when I'm traveling or when I'm not with my partner, only because I feel a little bit, you know, weird traveling and sleeping without a bra. <laughs> so I like to make sure that my cleavage is secured and so I love to sleep with these whenever I am traveling and or or if I'm around friends and all that good stuff I still make sure to sleep well but also covered up so I'm going to be wearing this sports bra and with this cute long sleeve that I bought from Denver it is a Red Rocks long sleeve shirt super cute from the Red Rocks Amphitheater. So this is going to be my sleeping shirt for the whole weekend. I'm just gonna wear it for the night and the second night as well. And I'm going to be wearing that with these cute gray sweats that I have from Boohoo. I love these sweats, they're so comfy. So I'm gonna wear this at night. And the reason why I'm wearing like sweats and long sleeve is because I know in Arizona, their Airbnbs have their ACs full blast. So even if it's over 100 degrees outside, it's still super cold in the house. So I made sure that I'm still warm. And that's gonna be my PJs for night one. After the first night, then the next day, which is on a Monday, we're going to have the full river day at Lake Havasu. So for that one, this is the outfit that I chose. I'm going to be wearing just this. This is another cute one piece of bodysuit, bathing suit. And this I got from Charlotte Russe. It's super cute, it has a zipper. It's also very cheeky and it's just cheetah print, so so nice. And I'm pairing it with this very long, nice kimono from Lilyful. And 
not just that but while we're driving to the lake i'm going to be wearing these swim shorts I love these swim shorts. I usually wear these on top every time I'm going to the lake somewhere just to, you know, if I'm helping out with taking anything, you know, an ice cooler or something, I'm very safely secured down there and I'm not showing much. So here are the swim shorts that I'm taking. So this is the outfit for the main day at Lake Havasu, which I'm super excited about. And as always, like I said, I'm gonna be wearing my tan sandals with that. And after spending the entire day at the river, we are going to go bar hop at Lake Havasu. So these are the outfits that I'm going to be taking. I'm taking two outfits just to gauge what everyone else is wearing. I know we had said casual, but I don't know if they're going cute casual or just like casual. So I'm taking these two outfits. I'm taking this ribbed shirt here. It's so cute. It's going to match with my tan sandals as mentioned, and I'm gonna pair that with these cute jean shorts that I also got from Charlotte Russe. So they're super nice. That is outfit number one, if we're going pretty casual, but if we're going, you know, cute casual, then I'm just going to wear this little black dress and just my sandals, and that's it. So super cute, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna wear. So two outfits for that night. And that honestly wraps up the weekend because we're going to be there, like I said, for three days, two nights, and that's pretty much what it is. The next day on Tuesday, we are heading back home. So for Tuesday, I'm going to be wearing this outfit on my way home, which is another Denver shirt. I just went to Denver. If you haven't seen my Denver vlogs, make sure you guys see that. I'll go ahead and link it in this area up here. So make sure you guys see those vlogs. But yeah, I went to Denver Zoo, so I got a Denver shirt. I'll be wearing this on the way back. And I'm going to be wearing these tights that I got from Walmart. They're so comfortable. The brand is from Avia, if I'm not mistaken. But yes, these tights are so, so comfortable. They were only $15 or $15 or $16. But this is what I'll be wearing on my way back. But as always, we should have an extra outfit just in case anything happens. So for my extra outfit that I'm gonna be taking is this here. So I'm going to be taking extra shorts. These are some jean shorts that I found at Marshalls a year ago or two years ago, which are my favorite shorts right now. They're so cute. And I'm going to be just taking another basic t-shirt. These t-shirts are amazing. They're also from Walmart. I'm very budget friendly. So this is from the brand No Boundaries. Their t-shirts are awesome. These are only five or six dollars. So yes, I'm going to be taking this shirt just in case anything happens. And another emergency, I'm wearing these biker shorts that I got from Charlotte Russe for five dollars. So these are ribbed, they're so pretty, and they're mesh-like in the bottom. So I'll be taking that extra outfit, and then with the trip, I'm making sure to take a large sweater for any reasons, just in case I get cold or anything like that. I will be taking my Disney sweater, so I'll be packing this one as well. And then always make sure you have your undergarments ready for whatever outfits you're going to be wearing. And since most of the time I'm going to be in the lake or in water, then I'm just going to be taking the certain bras that I will be wearing with the outfits if I need to and underwear as well. And that's pretty much it for the outfits. So other than the outfits that I will be packing, I'm gonna be packing it in this carry-on. This carry-on is from the brand Typo or the website Typo, I believe it's called Typo. It's an extension website from Cotton On. I got this carry-on luggage on sale on Black Friday for $30. That is a steal because normally these cost like $80 to $100. So yeah, I always get stuff through Black Friday for deals. But yeah, I'm going to pack all these outfits in there. And in my duffel bag, this duffel bag that I showed earlier, it's from Victoria's Secret, I'm going to be packing in here my travel sheets. These I got from Amazon. So these are so cool. So I'm going to pop these over wherever I'm going to be sleeping. And I always take a travel blanket 
and a travel pillow. You just never know. So I always take these, they're small enough to pack in the duffel bag. So I'll be packing that. Then I have my little bag here. It's a little dust bag for my slippers from Victoria's Secret. But in here, I'm gonna be placing my sandals, both my shower sandals and my tan sandals that I'm gonna be wearing. So I'm gonna pack my sandals in here. So let's go ahead and start packing. This is gonna be more like a time lapse. Then I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I have in my toiletry bags before I pack it in. And then that will be it for this video. So let's go ahead and get started to the packing part. So now that you can see, I have all of my outfits packed in here, ready to go. So now let's go ahead and pack the duffel bag. All right guys, so I'm going to quickly show you guys what I have inside my toiletry bags. So the first one up is my shower one that I have here. So I always take a headband to wash my face. I also have my toothbrush in here. I always have a face towel with me and inside I have wrapped my women's razor, but this is what it looks like here. Then I have a bar soap. I also have my toothpaste. I have a disposable glove, which honestly I could still take back if I could put it back in this little Ziploc, but it's not, it's easy, it's fine. I could dispose it. I have my face wash that I have here by Sarah B. 
And then I'm taking big bottles of the VO5 shampoo and the VO5 conditioner. So I'm taking these because again, very easy, disposable, I could share with everyone. These are actually really amazing from the dollar store or anywhere that you could get your hands on these. You could find these at Walmart, at the dollar store, at the 99, but these are amazing. They smell so, so good. They're my favorite to take every time I go to the beach or to a lake or anything like that, just because I can use as much as I want to take out any sand out of my hair to take out any gunk from, like I said, the beach or the lake. So I absolutely love these two. And that is all I have in this little black bag right here. This is from Sonia Kashik's collection, travel collection. So it's really pretty and, you know, very useful. So I'm going to put this back in. So again, these are my shower essentials. Okay, next up, I have my other toiletry bag with all just body care, hair care, skin care, anything care. And this is also from the Sonia Kashik collection. Uh, you could get this collection at Target. I got this collection a few years back along with this one. So it was a three case. So I have the big clear bag the other shower essentials bag, black bag that I had, and then this one. This, I use it for any jewelry that I take. So jewelry that I have here. I also have like sticky nipple pads that I use, you know, just in case I need any, and hair clips that I have, just in case when I need it, if I do my hair. Well, that goes in this little beige bag that also goes inside this big bag. Then I have my Revlon blow dryer, which I absolutely love. Do not mind the hair, but I love this Revlon tool. Absolutely love it, especially when I have my hair wet. So just in case I need it, I honestly don't know if I'll need it because again, we're gonna be at the lake anyways, but who knows, you never know. So I'm going to take this hair blow dryer that does a fantastic job. And then if I need to settle down any hair, I'm going to use my travel straightener which looks like this, it's super cute. So this little travel strainer comes with its little pack. And so these two together when I travel is amazing. The next thing that I have is this toner by Murad. I have this body spray, Cactus Blossom from Bath and Body Works. Then I have sunscreen, of course, Banana Boats. Then I have cream. This is fresh and clean, my favorite scent from Pink Victoria's Secret. I love this one. I have hair care, so Pantene hair mist conditioner. I have my wet brush, travel size. I have this comb here by the brand Goody. You can't see it, but it's by the brand Goody. I have some travel cotton swabs and cotton balls. I have a makeup wipe removers. From the dollar store, the 99, or Walmart, these are the best dollar makeup remover wipes. Again, if you're buying on a budget, get some of these. I have some hair ties. I also have my CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion for PM. And then I have my CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion for AM, which has SPF 30 in it, so this is essential. Then I have some tissues just in case I need it. Of course, my deodorant by Degree, my favorite brand. And then I have some tiny little pills just in case I need it or have a headache. And then I do have braces, so I brought some dental floss or picks that I can use. And that's all that I have in here. And it all fits in here. Gotta make it work. had it done nicely but let's just stick it in there all 
All right, all packed and ready to go. And lastly, I have my makeup bag. So I've been in the search for a great travel makeup bag. And honestly, this has been the best one so far. This is humongous and it fits everything because I wear a lot of makeup. This says you can totally do this. I found this bag for $5 at Five Below. Again, I'm a big fan of Five Below as well. Balling on a budget, guys. Balling on a budget, all the goodies. And the inside is already dirty, but I love that it's so flexible. I can literally open it, squeeze it, do anything, minimize it. Honestly, it doesn't matter. But I have all of my essentials. So I'll show you guys really quickly. I have my face mist my stay matte powder, powder foundation by Argonne. I have my wet and wild foundation. Oops. I have my Dove hairspray that I use for mainly my eyebrows, hack, or I can use for hair, obviously. I have my Naked Urban Decay Honey Palette. I have my wet and wild bronzer. I have my Laura Geller blush, love it. I have Wet n Wild Primer, all of my brushes, as you can see, I have Morphe, I have Wet n Wild, I have Pure Cosmetics, I have Elf Cosmetics, Morphe, Mascara, of course, Lipsticks, Lashes by, oh my gosh, these are some of my favorite lashes by Salon Perfect. I found these at Walmart, they're amazing. I have the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. I have the Persona Lip Gloss. And yeah, e.l.f. Concealer, all the goodies in here. So I just pop these in and they're ready to go for travel. I just zip it up. And again, there's a lot of room left so I can squeeze this you know, obviously if it's filled larger, then it can expand. But I just love how flexible this bag is. So I really love it and it has a handle. So it is perfect. So now let's go ahead and pack all of that into the duffel bag. Okay, so as you can see, my duffel bag is now fully packed and I have everything here. I also have a strap so it will just be super easy for me to carry along with my carry-on. So carry-on and duffel bag and I am ready to go to Lake Havasu. So I'm ready to go to Lake Havasu. The only thing that did not fit in my duffel bag are my inflatables that I'm gonna be taking, which is my tube and my drink holder inflatable. So I can just easily carry this in my hand. But other than that, that's it guys. My carry-on is fully packed. My duffel bag is fully packed and we are ready to go to Lake Havasu. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Make sure to subscribe to Paulina Rosie and to follow me on all my social medias. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!